If you're watching this video, there's a good chance that you've been targeted for blackmail on social media. You might have connected with an attractive person online and started a relationship that either immediately or eventually turned into an extortion situation. Well, don't worry, it can happen to anyone. We're all vulnerable to this kind of crime. If you found yourself in a sextortion situation, it's important to keep in mind that there are different levels of seriousness here and it's up to you to determine just how serious it is. Sometimes they don't have much info on you. Maybe just some pictures that don't reveal too much, your face is definitely not in them, and maybe the conversation just isn't that spicy. This is level one on the risk scale. Other times they may have more damaging content like pictures or videos you wouldn't want anyone to see and your face is kind of in it. Or maybe that tattoo or birthmark that everyone knows about, your friends might recognize that for sure, right? Maybe? This is threat level two. The third threat level and most serious is when they have the explicit content that shows your face and other identifiable features crystal clear. They might even have visuals of your personal items that could further identify you to family and friends. Items like work badges, unique furniture, or even your phone case. Once you determine where you fall on this short list, well, that's when you have to decide how to deal with the situation. And remember, every case is unique. Now is a great time to like and subscribe. Digital Investigation releases the newest information on how blackmailers and sextortionists operate. They are always innovating their tactics, but so are we, and we can help. The thing is, these blackmailers treat this crime like a business. They know exactly how much damage their information about you can do, before you do. While you were chatting or waiting for a response, they were digging deep into your social media profiles, collecting ammunition. They're also aware of your role in society. Are you a teacher, a public figure, or someone with influence? Are you married? Do you have kids? Or are you connected to people who could get hurt by this? They use all of this information to figure out how valuable you really are. This in turn helps them decide how much money they can squeeze out of you and how much they can harm you if you don't comply. You need to do a similar calculation to figure out your threat level and what your response should be. Could you get hurt? What about your family, your job, your friends, or maybe even your small business? The more at risk you are, the higher the threat level. It's important to assess the potential damage and then decide how to handle the situation and protect yourself and those around you from the fallout. Now, regardless of the threat level, the first crucial step in recovering from this is to report the incident to law enforcement. While apprehending these faceless perpetrators may prove challenging for local law enforcement agencies, filing a formal complaint is essential for establishing a record of the crime and initiating an investigation. Taking control of one's online presence in these initial moments becomes paramount. Changing social media passwords and embracing two-step verification is a great place to start. However, several other proactive measures can be employed to combat the blackmailer's advances. Limit their access. Unfriending the blackmailer and setting accounts to private status can prevent them from perusing your content and friends list, but it's very important that you remain engaged in communication and do not block their accounts though, as ghosting them will make them retaliate before you're able to get the help you need. And you can learn more about this process in our video, How to Handle Sextortion on Your Own, which will be linked in the description. Leverage reporting tools. Most social media platforms have stringent policies against blackmail and harassment. Utilize reporting mechanisms to alert administrators to these transgressions. While immediate results are not guaranteed, it is a step towards safeguarding yourself and others. Keep in mind though that if their account does get removed or deleted immediately by the platform, they will most likely create a new account to continue their scheme or attempt to reach you on another platform. And this is why step one is so important. Most importantly though, seek professional assistance. It is imperative to understand that facing blackmail and extortion alone while possible, is always ill-advised, no matter the threat level. The emotional toll and complexity of the situation requires professional support. And this is where organizations like our team here at Digital Investigation comes into play. With our expertise and advanced technology, we offer a lifeline to victims. By intercepting and mediating communications, we safeguard your privacy while dealing a decisive blow to the blackmailer's influence. We're able to take on any level of threat on any social media platform. In conclusion, the realm of social media, while filled with opportunities to connect and share, harbors its own set of risks, as highlighted by the troubling issue of sextortion. While it's undeniable that our online presence can sometimes expose us to dangers, it's crucial to remember that you are not alone in this digital journey. 
Digital Investigation stands ready to provide help and support when faced with online blackmail or sextortion. Furthermore, by embracing online practices, such as being cautious with personal information, recognizing potential threats, and reporting suspicious activities, we can all navigate the digital landscape more securely. Thanks for watching, and until next time, stay safe out there.